Maybe it isn't abundantly clear from the videos I usually make on this channel, but I'm something of a fan of the works of Joss Whedon. I am not the frothing fanboy who thinks that everything Whedon does is solid gold. I would go so far as to say that three of the four television shows he is known for have some considerable flaws, but I like them well enough to own them on DVD. My favorite of the television shows he had a hand in creating is Firefly. The only reason I did not immediately seek out the comic book sequels featuring the crew of Serenity is because the price seemed a little bit exorbitant for the short graphic novel I'd be getting. So I waited, and just recently I saw Serenity, those left behind, at my local library. I had wanted to read this, and since I'm not paying any money for it, this was the perfect time for me to do so. But what did I think? Well, what I was really wanting after watching the television series Firefly was something like Firefly Season 2. But what we're actually getting with Serenity, Those Left Behind, is really more of a missing episode that Whedon and Brett Matthews have put down on paper. This isn't terrible or anything. I would prefer to have something that feels more like a season of the show instead of a single adventure that you would pay $10 for if you were paying cover price. But I suppose getting a single adventure that takes less than an hour to read is better than not getting anything at all, right? Well, not exactly. I was quite excited to read this, mostly because I had waited so long since it had come out to finally do so. So maybe, maybe, it is because I had cranked up my expectations higher than they needed to be. But I was kind of disappointed in this book. I think the best way to describe this book is that it is pointless. Now let me clarify for a moment. Not every comic book or television episode is actually air quotes necessary. Sometimes you'll get a filler installment, but it is okay because you're not judging it on how air quotes important it is in the grand scheme of things. Instead, you're judging it on how entertaining or fun it is. So I guess I should be judging this book on how fun it is. And let me tell you, if you're a fan of the television show or the movie that comes after, this book is pretty fun. Every character feels like the characters I know and love from the show and movie, and that no doubt has to do with Whedon co-writing the book. And if this had been episode 15 of the series, then it would have, with one minor exception, been just as good as every other episode of the series. But, and you knew there was a but coming, I keep coming back to how essential this book really was. It came out after the film did, and yet it is set in between the events of the television series and the movie. If you are reading this comic, the chances are you've already seen the series and the movie. So you almost certainly already know from the movie that Inara and Shepard Book both left the crew and the ship sometime before the movie begins. And this book, all it really tells us is that Book and Inara left the crew. We get to see the demise of the men with the blue hands who we never really got to see any conclusion for their arc in the television series. We got to see the operative from the movie getting the assignment to capture River Tam. We got to see Lawrence Dobson who I really did not need to see again as it is pretty clear to me that anyone who receives a wound that Mal gave Dobson in the pilot would die and wouldn't just put on a cybernetic eye patch and walk it off. But what does this book really give us that we don't already get in the first minute and a half of Serenity? Nothing. That's what's really disappointing about this book. It's a fun read, but it has no substance in it if you're a fan of the movie and the television series. And I'd wager few people are reading this book unless they are fans of the series and film. This book doesn't make me less of a fan of Firefly or anything like that, but it does make me think that when writing this book, Whedon was more concerned with grabbing some quick cash than he was with artistic integrity. And even though I didn't think much of this book, I still want to read some of the other Firefly comics, especially The Shepherd's Tale. But if this book is any indication of the quality of the other graphic novels, then I may need to get used to disappointment.